Three natural products to clean your entire house and save you a ton of money. Hi everybody, my name is Sarah from Living Traditions Homestead. And on our homestead, we're all about living as naturally as possible for as little money as possible. And I wanted to uh, share with you guys uh, three different products that can essentially clean your entire house for very, very little money, and it is all natural. Now, the things that I'm gonna go over, yes, you can add other things to it. You can add essential oils, you can add, you know, one thing or another to maybe boost the product a little bit, or the end, uh, the end use a little bit, but ultimately, with these three products, you can clean your entire house for pennies. And right now, on our homestead, this is it for us when it comes to cleaning the house. I am by no means a clean freak. Um, I do what needs to be done uh, when it needs to be done sometimes, um, but you know, I, I don't spend all my day every day making sure everything is perfect. We have a busy homestead, plus we put out videos for you guys. Uh, so these things are going to be super simple, uh, easy to use, um, and good for you. Now, I want to start out talking about vinegar. Um, you know, vinegar is very, very cheap. It's a, come, a couple dollars for an entire gallon, um, and I use this a lot. In general, with vinegar, uh, it is very multi-use, multi-purpose, and if you make a spray bottle that has 50% vinegar and 50% water, that can clean a ton of things around the homestead. I use that 50-50 solution um, all over the house. I use it in the kitchen, on counters, cupboards, uh, to wipe down the stove top and the stove front. Um, I don't have a hood in my kitchen, but I used to use it in our other house to clean off the hood, you know, the vent thing above your stove. Uh, we do still have a microwave until it dies. Uh, so I use that to wash out the outside and the inside as well. Um, now in the bathroom, I use uh, that 50-50 solution on mirrors. Uh, you can also use that on um, windows. And in the bathroom, you could use it on um, the inside of your shower, like the shower walls. You can use the 50-50 solution to clean around like the toilet uh, seat and around the rim and all around the outside of the tank and the bowl. So just that 50-50 solution uh, can be used in so many ways around the homestead. Now one thing that I just started using it on and I was a little bit leery at first is dusting. Now we have a combination in our house of uh, furniture that is really kind of cheap. The surfaces of them, I mean it's not real wood, it's just kind of Oh, I don't even know what the material is, but that 50-50 solution works really well to dust with that. Um, and occasionally when I just need to do a very, very quick dusting of even our wooden furniture, I will spray just a little bit of that 50-50 solution on a rag and use that to dust even the wooden furniture. Um, now, polishing wooden furniture is a different story and I'm gonna cover that in a different video in the future. But let me tell you, 50-50 solution of vinegar and water is going to take care of a ton of your household cleaning needs. Now, still on the vinegar, um, to clean your toilet, you can put in a quarter cup of vinegar into your toilet bowl and uh, let it sit for a little while and then clean all around inside the toilet bowl. And when you're washing floors, you can use one cup of vinegar to a gallon of water to clean all of your floors. It's so easy and so simple. Now baking soda is fabulous because it is gritty and you can use it as a natural um, scouring powder. That's what that's called. And um, I use that quite often in the kitchen sinks. I'll just sprinkle some of that um, in the sink and, uh, and I'll put a little bit of water on there and use my washcloth and uh, just kind of use, make it into a paste or just rub it around on there, scrub everything really well. And that helps get, um, you know, stuck on, grimy, yucky stuff off. 
Um, I happen to actually use that same procedure in the bathtub uh, to, to uh, get off all of that grimy, yucky stuff. I'll sprinkle it all over the bathtub, uh, use a little bit of water in my washcloth, and just really get to town scrubbing on that. Um, it's a, a really wonderful, natural alternative to really some of those caustic, toxic, expensive uh, chemicals that you buy at the store. Uh, so I suggest switching away from all of those and switching them to baking soda. Um, another fabulous way to use baking soda naturally is to use it to freshen and kind of clear out naturally some of your drains. You know, our kitchen drains, uh, they can get kind of funky. Uh, we do lots of cooking and washing hands and, and things like that in our kitchen on the homestead and so sometimes they're just not as fresh as I'd like. <laughs> so uh, I'll just sprinkle some baking soda in the top of each drain and then I will use handy vinegar and just dump some into each of the drains and let that fizz and bubble and work in there. I'll uh, leave it there for, you know, 10 minutes or so and then I'll come back and rinse all that stuff down the drain just with some warm water. So that is a fabulous way to use uh, baking soda. Now the last secret ingredient that I have to share with you uh, for cleaning is really good old bar soap. Um, I use my uh, homemade soap that I make here on the homestead and you know a lot of times it's just really a quick yet thorough way to clean some things around the house. I use this um, quite often in the bathroom. I'll just grab a washcloth and a bar of soap and get it all soapy and I'll clean the bathroom sink. And while I'm at it, I'll move on to the counters. And it is really just fabulous and easy way, inexpensive way to, it, you know, to clean it. It degreases, uh, it gets all the sticky stuff off, and uh, you know, it's just cheap, easy, and healthy. Uh, a lot of times I'll use the same technique uh, using bar soap to clean around the toilet rim and the seat and all that kind of stuff and the shower walls if I'm seeing that it's kind of getting weird or you know a little bit dirty here and there on the shower walls while I'm in the shower I'll just use soap and water and a washcloth to wash those down and if you have other uh, ways to use these ingredients around the homestead, um, leave those comments and suggestions down in the comment section. I would love to hear about that and I would love for you to share that with our other viewers. If this is your first time visiting our homestead and you enjoyed what you saw, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button below so you can see more of what we have coming up in the future. Um, if you are one of our dedicated followers, I appreciate you stopping by the homestead today. Um, I would appreciate it if you guys would check out our Amazon store and our Etsy store to see what we have there for you. And until next time, you guys, thanks so much for stopping by the homestead. Take care and God bless.